Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Let me take this opportunity. Thank you very much, Mr. Shandu, for introducing me to appear before this uh, audience. Let me start by greeting the former students or the ex-students of Shell Cross Secondary School. In some schools, they call them alumni. I heard that they call themselves FOSHA which is also a progressive move to come with your own approach and, own, and your own stance. I also want to greet uh, Satu, Executive, Satu Executive Committee present here as our social partners in the Department of Education. I also want to greet uh, former educators that taught here at Chalcross Primary School some years ago. And I also want to greet all the social partners, the non-governmental organizations present here, the learners of Shalcross Primary School who are presently here in the hall in this academic year 2022. I also want to greet uh, SGB present here because the South African Schools Act allows the parents to take a leading role and a pivotal role in education. Uh, I also saw Mrs. Lada here, whom I may currently regard as the stalwart in the school governance in this school, as we can see that the school is taking shape currently. And I also want to extend my greetings to the school principal, Mr. GPC and uh, the SMT and the staff. I also want to say to all the distinguished guests present here, good afternoon. I just want to have your attention. I'm not going to take much of your time, but I just want to touch on a few things. If I can have your attention, especially learners, because this is the time where the learners should be very attentive because they should be focused simply because we are having less than 20 days, especially for the metrics to resume their examinations. So it, is, it will be very important for all of us present here to be very attentive. We are meeting today because of the 50th celebration or the 50th anniversary of the school since the school was established. Some of people call it Jubilee. Some of us call this milestone half a century. I think it was never easy from the time this school started. In, te in terms of the times and the days at which we were surviving under apartheid era. And what we are noticing today, we can notice the difference in terms of cultural diversity and everybody present and represented here. And it gives me honor once again to say, today we can recognize the power of education because it can put people together for a common vision and for a common goal. And that is why you are here. This is also determined by the dedication and the commitment displayed and shown, and shown by the educators that are currently holding the fort. And we must give them a big round of applause. <clears throat> Even for putting together such an occasion to say they are having this occasion and thanks to the sponsors, thanks to the ex-students who came with this kind of mentality to say let us come and honor our existence because this is in a true sense honoring the existence of Shell Cross Secondary because you may notice that some of the schools are swaving away and some of them are closing down and some of the schools are white elephants today. Now, when you look at this school, while it was also on the verge of being a white elephant, we are very delighted as the Department of Education that it has been resuscitated by the efforts of the members of the staff, of course, under the astuteness and the leadership of Mr. GPC. And, and when we speak about professional development, in some times we also speak about developing our learners who will be able to plow back to their communities. And this is the true reflection of plowing back to the community. 
if you have some people who have got the legacy that they've created to say we want to revamp our school, we want to revamp our history, we want to put things together for this school because they can see that there is leadership. But without collaboration with the stakeholders, nobody could be able to achieve this milestone. It's because of the cohesion and collaboration and working together which made this event. And I believe, and I want to commit to the people present here, that having monitored this school, having interacted with the school management team, this school is, is one of the schools that will be regarded as the most improved school in terms of the metric results in uh, 2022. And I think we must also give the team a big round of applause again. <clears throat> simply because we want to encourage a situation where we evolve the minds of the young ones so that they can be able to so that they can be able to show the, the others the direction in terms of what is expected of elena if you look back a few years back this school had a very little en enrollment i think it was less than 300, uh, 300. But now it is growing leaps and bounds. And personally, because most of the people just refer the parents to the secretary managers, I will constantly refer people to Shell Cross Primary School to come and bring their learners because there is life. I've observed that, and the school is going to produce better results. <laughs> but without the the falconer, the falconer, the falcons cannot be able to do the right. There is a bird that is called a falcon. It's a, it's a prestigious bird that you train maximum to eight to ten years. And it is sent to perform some duties. And it comes and delivers the messages to the falconer. I'm making this quotation with reference to the poem written by William Buckley Yeats, which speaks about second coming. Why I'm making this quotation? Because I can see the second coming in this school. Because much as the culture might have fallen down, but now we can see the culture being resuscitated. Hence, I'm making this relevant quotation in terms of second coming because the Christians will tell you clearly when they speak about second coming, they are expecting Jesus Christ to change their lives. They are expecting to see, the, to see themselves going into heaven where there is no, where there, there are no troubles in the land of mercy, where there is milk and honey. That is why I made this point of reference of this poem. To simply say, if the falcons cannot hear the falconer, things tend to, to asunder and things fall apart. We are here today to say we don't want to see things falling apart in this school after this milestone. It's quite a big milestone which everybody should pride himself or herself. Fortunately, there is a, a gentleman that just went through here. He said 50 years ago, he was a learner here. You see, this is the reality. Those are the people, he, so, he also said he lives in the very same street. Those are the people who are the Lucifers of this world, who have seen the beauty and the, and the worst of, the hev of heaven. Because they've seen this school starting and they've seen the school at the level where it had hiccups, and they can see the school while it's taking its peak. And we want to say, as the Department of Education, we pride ourselves, especially as the Bellington Circuit, that this school is one of the schools that will actually be on the map through this collective effort. And I'm also appealing again from the community members to rally behind this team to ensure that this school sustains its existence and we also see the next 50 years 
Some of us, or most of us, will not be there. But our history must judge us correctly that we made the difference during our existence in this school. And we contributed immensely in terms of shaping and evolving. Evolving meaning changing, not involving. Because I could see that there might be some confusion. Because it's a question of dialectics and the and understanding of the language. As I am about to close, I just want to speak about the 48 laws of power written by Robert, Robert Greene. I just want to make a point of reference to law number four. There are 48 laws. Law number four says, I quote, when we are trying to impress people with words, the more you say, the more common you appear, and the less in control. Even if you are saying something vinyl, it will seem original if you make it vague, open-ended, and slings like powerful people impress and intimidate by saying less. The more you say, the more likely you are to say something foolish. The reason I'm saying, I'm making, the, close quote, the reason I'm making this quotation of law number four of 48 laws of power, people have been looking at this institution as the institution that was going down. But the leadership of this school, together with the educators, because I don't want to single any individual, because this is a collective effort. They've never said much, but actions speak than uh, speak, speak louder than, than words. With those few words, I just to wish you the best and the best of luck in your celebration and congratulations for putting this magnificent and august occasion together. And to my learners, class of 22, we want to wish you all the best, starting from grade eight up to grade 12. But our, our, our mirror basically becomes grade 12. It's not that you are not important, grade 8 to 11. You are pretty important, equally so, because 2023 will be looking at you, class of 2022, uh, grade 11. Thank you very much, Program Director, uh, for the opportunity given to us as the Department of Education want to grace and bless this occasion. I thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mtiani, for that powerful message. Um, we have here a pen, and it's got a beautiful inscription of Shell Cross Secondary School on it. I don't know whether we can put it on the screen. But uh, Mr. Mtiani, we want you to be the first owner of this pen and know that uh, the school will always be looking up to you. Um, okay, and, and we're going to give each one of you one as well.